So ever since Sam got his e-scooter, we've been arguing, is it actually better than a traditional bike? And today we're going to find out through a series of challenges. <laughs> I've been on the road, still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life faster. 100 miles per hour, I might crash, cause a good die on. It a good die on. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. Coming up is a series of challenges involving these two vehicles to work out whether an e-scooter is actually worth it. And this is what Sam bought. It's called the Pro Elite Electric Scooter. Starting down here, you can see that the deck is extra thick and that houses a powerful battery and motor that powers this front wheel forward, meaning extra power, more fun and no need for exercise at any time. And with all that, it is clear that it is 10 times better than that old rusty hunk of junk. Once again, Sam was wrong and this is what I'd bought, a Trek Marlin 4. This is why my traditional bike is better than Sam's futuristic hunk of junk and it all starts down here at the pedals. Now the pedals mean I don't have any electric battery, so that means I can go as fast as I want, I can go for as long as I want, and I can go as far as I want. No batteries to recharge, it's just all pedal powered, meaning I get exercise, and there's no limitations at all. My bike is a 21 speed with three gears at the front and seven at the back. Sam, however, has one piffy little electric motor, but he has three drive modes, eco, drive and sport which I presume is what he'll be using today. With our vehicles bought it was time for the first event, a drag race. With Sam losing that drag race, he wanted to run again, so I gave him the chance. <laughs> now that we know my bike is faster than his e-scooter, which is slower than my bike, we're going to work out which is easiest to carry because a lot of people use e-scooters and bikes on their commute to work in the city. So now we're going to fold them up and carry them uh, as if to simulate getting on and off public transport and we're going to see which one is actually easier to carry and commute with. Does your bike even fold? No. Alright, so the challenge is to fold your bike and get to that wheelie bin um, as quick as possible, essentially. No, so, I'm gonna do it faster. Three, than you. two, one, go! <laughs> We're gonna run this challenge again, but Sam is gonna have his scooter already folded. Three, two, one, go! I've deduced that Sam's is easier to carry and run because it's obviously compact smaller. But mind you, you can get bikes that fold down smaller, but they just take a little, little bit to fold down. And also, I didn't hurt myself carrying it. So they're similar weights too. That's uh, something to bear in mind as well. The next challenge was a challenge up a hill. First one up to the top wins. Hello. Now that we know that Sam's scooter is smaller than my bike, it's now time to see who is faster. Now this is the first little bit to 
uh, the hill. It is the steepest bit, but it's also the borderline of what Sam's electric mobility scooter can sort of go up before it crashes, burns, dies, explodes and whatnot. So uh, let's see who's faster. I also need to not crash, burn, die and have a heart attack. Two, one, go. Oh God, I need to get mine in the gear. I didn't think about this. Oh God, you're not allowed to scoot. You're not allowed to do that. Sam. Get back here. I'm gonna be in the right gear and Sam is not gonna kick all the way up the hill because this is a test of the scooter, not him kicking. Three, two, one, go. My bike's not making a great noise. Oh my god. You cheated again. But you cheated. Twice. You kicked. Even the second time you kicked. It's a screw top. Exactly. I can do whatever I want. Well. I think you're just jealous that my piffy hunk of junk crap, futuristic, is not as good as your rusty buckers. No, I know it's not as good. Nails. I know your e-scooter is, is not as good. This is far superior. If we review the footage, you just said that your e-scooter is not as good as my bike. Well, what I was <laughs> meant to say is that my crappy little piece of junk is far superior to your bucket of rust. Now uh, we're going to have our last uh, real world test by having a race from the post office to uh, a little hotel around the hotel back to the ho uh, back to the post office we have to go up this hill down a bigger hill which Sam's scooter can't actually go up um, there and back so with our start and finish line this here is our start and finish line so let's get warmed up and let's go I am warmed up I don't warm up okay are you ready Give me two seconds though. Two seconds. Oh no, we're all good. Alright, three, two, one, go. Why did I start behind you? Oh well. Change down! This hill really slowed me down and made the perfect opportunity for Sam to scoot away on his little electrified mini scooter. I just realised this was a bad idea. Oh. This bike's also way too small for me. Nonetheless slow, I carried on because I knew the perfect opportunity to make up some ground was just round the corner. One thing I knew from the start though was Sam was limited to 25 kilometers an hour going down the hill, whereas I could go as fast as gravity would take me. limitations, I told you.
It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay. Right. Now I did make... I should just mention that you don't have to go up. You don't have to go up uh, where Sam's going now, up this side of the hill. You can go around. Which, for me on the bike, is going to be a better idea. Oh dear. Sam's going up that way. No, you can go whatever way. Okay. Once I get up here, I should be flying. wind isn't helping. I reckon my odds would have been better on a less windy day. Mind you, who's only just getting there now? Bloody cars. There's one car I saw past the whole day, and it was when I didn't want it to. Well. Sam's e-scooter may have a buying point. But was that less than 50 metres in the race worth the extra $200? Actually, well, how much? My bike was $700 and your e-scooter was $1,500 on sale for $500. No, it was $1,100 on sale for $500. So is that 50 metres worth $400 Australian dollars? It is, you just have to find one on sale. So we're back at uh, home now and we're going to run through everything that essentially is run through everything that we've had. So um, over here, this is Sam's e-scooter. Um, I'll put that on the screen now. As you can see, $1,100 from AustralianHoverboards.com. Uh, currently down to $499. 350 kilowatt electric motor for adults allows for speeds of up to 15 miles an hour and attacks 15% climbing hills with speed and comfort. It's also got a cruise, oh, it says cruise control system design, high capacity battery, which is 36 volts, 7.5 uh, amp hours, with a max travel range of 12 to 21 miles, fully charged for four to six hours and a max load of 
220 pounds. It's also got, now these are the tyres I was talking about earlier. They are 8.5 inch pneumatic tyres, making riding comfortable, even on rough or bumpy terrain. All right, here's the Trek Marlin 2. This is my bike, as you can see, it was $649 now to buy it. And this is obviously slightly better than mine because mine is six years old. The Marlin 4 is the perfect getaway for trail riding. It's ideal for new riders and those who want a mountain bike with knobby tires. So, it, so what they've called this is a rugged commuter. This is a great bike for new trail riders and campus commuters alike. So both commuter bikes. Now, let's go and do the scoring. So here's our scoring system. We've got the vehicle down the left-hand side and the uh, events along the top there. So you get two points for winning, and two points for winning, one point for coming second, and no points if you didn't make it. Um, so... He made this all on his own, by the way. So if it looks bad, don't blame me. So the drag race, the e-scooter for the first race, I won. Mm. You did. So you get one point. Ah, oh, that's number one. Yeah. You one. And you and got two points. I got two points for winning. Yep. And you Drag also two. lost the second race, didn't you? Nah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did two. One point. Two points. So you're... The on carry, uh... I won the I first I won round. the first no, one. No, I won the first one. No, because you had to pack it down. I think, oh no, because we kind of tied, didn't we? Yeah, so. One. Two, two points each. Two points each, okay. Yeah. Two, and then the carry, you definitely won, oh, the, second won the second one. one. Um, the uphill one. I won. You won, but you cheated. Oh, what are we going to do about cheating? One point, eight, one point for whoever cheats. Minus one point. No, one point, you get one point instead of two. So that's minus one point. Yep. No, and not minus one point. I only get one well, point still, instead of two. It's still minus one point though, isn't it? Because you're taking two from one, yeah. taking one from two, which is minus one point. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't make it the first one, so that's zero points for me. You didn't. You make... cheated again on the second. No, I didn't. One you pedaled. The video is there. The evidence and is there. And you got zero points. I completed that complete. race. Yeah, I did. I got to print. And for the race, you should get five points for winning because that's like the big final thing. No, the race yeah. is the scoring system's the same. No. It doesn't change. Why not? Because, alright, so you got two points winning the race and I got one point. Meaning, the total points is for Sam is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. And I got two, four, six, eight, nine. <laughs> I beat you. So it would have been a tie had I actually bothered to go up the, the second hill. And we would have had to do but something else. Sam cheated. What? Twice. I've already I've already lost time. I know, but had we have had a fair race, I would have won the first uphill challenge probably. Anyway, so that's the scoring. Sam has won. Um, what do I get for winning? What do you get? What do you mean? What do I get for winning? Well, you get to know that in your heart, your e-scooter was not a waste of money. A waste of your hard-earned $500. I already knew it wasn't a waste of money because I've used it that much. And I've got proof. I checked this morning on the app and it said that since I'd gotten it, which was what, three months ago-ish? Three, four months ago, I've done 227 kilometres on it, which is pretty much for, from here to Launceston and back. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe or I'll sniff you. You can't put that in the video. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> oh, God. You can just edit it out. You'll be right. Oh, there will be editing. There will be editing. What, me winning? Me winning? Don't want me to win, do you, bucko? Change it around, 9 10. There will be editing. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, bye. I'll be sniffing you.